What's up, traders? It has been an interesting afternoon here with the Fed meeting and everything, all risk assets from equities to crypto are taking off. And on one of my social medias, a question came across, is this the rally that's going to signal the Bitcoin liftoff, finally lift Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies out of this malaise that they've been in? Well, first, what's going on? Because people always want to know what the reason is. Well, the reason is because, contrary to what most people want to believe, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are inflation sensitive. They are risk on assets. And everything that's going on in the market, and I've, I've made this point before, and I posted a little bit earlier during the rally about how you can look and see the price action for evidence. This was the move, a spike down and then a rally to the upside in everything from the S&P 500 index futures to the NASDAQ and the same exact price action minute by minute was reflected in Bitcoin and Ethereum, the risk assets. Everyone has pretty much accepted that the Fed's printing money like it's going out of style and that's why people are rushing into cryptocurrency because it's the only thing that is not going to be artificially inflated, therefore has actual value. Well, the thing you have to realize is that the way Fed, the Fed is doing it, they're not just printing it with a printer. They are keeping interest rates low. That's what all this debate is about, when they're going to slow taper the interest rates and let them start to rise. Well, that's creating a credit market of very low interest rate money. And that money is finding itself through institutions into the cryptocurrency space. So while it's great to have that narrative, you have to be mindful that the reason that cryptocurrency has gone up this much is because of the low interest rate environment. And if the Fed raises interest rates, that's actually bearish for the market fundamentally because there'll be less money to pump into these assets. So back to the question, is this rally going to signal the liftoff? Well, let's jump off this day trading time frame with a five minute. And I need to go back to something that I've talked about as long as I've been on TradingView, which is looking at the fundamentals of Ichimoku. I talked about this back in January when people were asking, when we were still in that bull trend before the year's rally, when is this trend going to end based on Ichimoku? And you really have to look at the daily to understand what's going on. Now, another note that I like to point out, I use classic Ichimoku settings. I realize that there is a meme, that there is better for crypto settings. I could talk, make a whole video about that. What's important is consistency, keeping the same numbers when you're doing your analysis because this is what will train the patterns in your head. That being said, the crypto numbers are wrong and designed by someone that knew nothing about Ichimoku. I use the classic numbers and it works just fine on the daily. If we go back to the rally this year or 2020, price remained above the cloud the whole way. Not until it got below the cloud here. Let's use the trading view of time feature here. Did you start to get in any kind of danger? This was in April of this year. Still, it's fine because there's one additional thing that I like. <laughs> Google. There's one additional thing that I look for, which is the momentum, the chikao or lagging span, as some may call it. You want this to stay on the bullish side of the cloud. This is the last line in the sand before things go bearish. But when you finally have that happen when both price and momentum are on the bearish side of the cloud that's a bearish trend confirmed just as as long as they are on the upper side of the cloud it's a bullish trend now this recovered and then at the key moment wait for it where price got above the cloud again you're waiting for a momentum to get above the cloud too at this point here, you have a bullish trend, and that launched the move through 2021. 
Again, price messed around with the cloud here, but momentum was pretty far away from it. So you could have stayed in and you would have been fine. Now with this final leg going, price begins to flirt with the cloud again. And what do we have? Price is on the bear side of the cloud and it's been trending bearish for several days now. The liquidation spike just put it into bearish territory. What about Ethereum? Well, take a look before I say anything and see if you've learned. Is this bullish or bearish? You have price, which is flirting with the bottom of the cloud. It's even closed below it once before. And this rally is bringing it back up into the cloud. But momentum is still not out. Ethereum is still in the bull trend consolidating. Now, what I talked about in another idea from a few weeks ago still stands. Where is it? It's about Ethereum. If you are playing this bullish trend, if you're still holding on to it, be mindful of breaking the liquidation spike from a few days ago. This would also, if price comes down to this level, it would likewise get momentum down to this level as well. So anywhere in the 3400 is a very dangerous spot for Ethereum. Let's briefly look at some of the others. So Monero, it's been trending bearish for quite some time. Cardano, trending bearish, has been since this example here. Let's take a look. You had the bull trend, topped out in September. Price was flirting around with the cloud. Once it finally got on the bearish side of the cloud, the momentum, you had a confirmed bearish trend and you did not need to be holding that further. That is what you can expect in most cases with this type of analysis of Ichimoku. It's very simple. Pay attention to the daily chart of Ichimoku. Trade wisely. We'll see you in the next video.